Fly at Night by Chilliwack. Here's a quick run through. Here's a fifth string open A for tuning. Okay, so there's already a pretty good tab out there for this song. I'm pretty much going to be following it with a couple of minor changes here and there. Um, starts on a D, and you're just playing the top four strings down and up. Right? Then the next chord is pretty complicated. You take your index finger and you put it where your middle finger is on the first string right there. And then you take your middle finger and you put it here on the third fret of the sixth string. And you don't play that um, open fifth string at all. So then you pick that low G on the sixth string and then the same notes on top. This one's a little easier. You, you just take that finger off and you play the open sixth. Okay. And then you grab a C with an added D. Now what that is, is um, the easiest way I find to think of this chord is you take a G your normal G chord, and you move all the fingers in one string. So you're playing third, um, second, third here, and there's an open third string. And you just go down and up again, starting from the fifth string. You're ending on this note, and what you do after that is you Hit that, uh, play that string open, and quickly go back into your D. All right, so let's go through that a couple of times slowly. Maybe a little slower. up to full speed. Okay, so the next part is only really as hard as you want to make it. We're going from that uh, C chord with the added D. So that um, chord that I'm doing there is a little more difficult, but I'll sh I'm going to show you easier ways to do it. Uh, first of all, you don't use uh, your third finger here at all, so that, if that gets in the way, just ignore it. Um, you're putting your pinky here on the uh, third fret, and you're putting your index finger also on the lowest string, third fret. And you're using this finger to kind of block the fifth 
string from ringing. We don't want that. Whoops, we don't want that ringing at all. And then you have to put your index finger here on the second fret of the second string. And you play the G. And what you do is you take that finger off and on. That gives you your chord changes. I don't know exactly what the picking pattern is, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you uh, get those changes at the right time, you're, you're going to sound okay. Now, um, that's an awfully hard chord for some of you. I, I realize that. So uh, an easier way is just to uh, take this finger out of the equation and just play those two, uh, pick those two strings like that. You can even change that around for your ring finger. So we first fret here, third fret here. And uh, what you just do in this case is only play the top four strings. <laughs> That's fairly easy. And then we transition right from there, because um, we're ending on this chord, which is a G, and we're going to right into a D suspended fourth. Now, a D suspended fourth it looks just like a D, but we add our pinky right here on the third fret of the first string. And that's because we're transitioning from that G on that we just did to a D. Okay, so you just leave that there. Right? And then you go to an A minor 7th, which looks like an A minor, 2nd, 2nd, 1st, and open, and then, but you take off that uh, ring finger, so you have an open 3rd string in there. Okay, And what you do is uh, you hammer off and on that 1st uh, uh, fret on the 2nd string right there. that A minor 7th. Okay, let's do that again. So here's where we have a slight change in the song and the drums come in. So we ended on that A minor we just go into a D. Now there's a slight guitar, uh, an acoustic guitar, I think, in the background that plays. Um, um. Okay, and that's just putting your. Um, it's, it's all done on the high E string. It's your pinky on the third fret, and then uh, your normal D chord, and then you take that finger off for the open E. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what the pattern is, but it's something like that. So then the chords are D, G, E minor, and then a C. Okay, and there's a keyboard run that goes uh, right after the G. Take the uh, fifth string open, back to the G note here on the third fret, second fret, open, and then into the E minor. So it's. Okay, 
And then we go back into the D. Into that A minor 7th again. Back to D. And then here's where it changes again. We go from a G to a C. Now what I do here for these chord changes, it's... Okay, so I just, uh, I leave these two fingers where they are, which is on both on the uh, third fret of the first two strings. And I just take those notes and I just move them up and back down. Okay, the only thing you have to remember is when you play the higher one, which is this one, uh, you can't play that low E. Uh, technically you can because uh, it's an E, but it, it doesn't really sound right. So you just have to remember to block that. Then it changes again. A minor. G. D. Repeat it. A minor. G. D. Okay, and then it stays, the chords stay the same. It's just that you hold that A minor uh, a bit longer after that. 